Karen is as well. We also have people from Iraq, from Iran. So those are the groups that we want to cater for. Basically, if we do not take care of them, they will be in your backyard, stealing and doing nasty things. So, so we as a group uh, have decided that we will uh, take up this project to actually provide education for them. Eh? So uh, our project name is Future Leaders Education Project. We are actually uh, trying to get funds to set up an education center for refugees because they are stateless people, they cannot go to schools, they do not have the basic rights. So we are a group that feel that they have education is for all and all the children have the basic rights. They have the right to go to school. And Malaysia being a rich country, a very supportive country, we must do something to them because one is to keep ourselves secure, to have our, uh, to be, uh, so that they will not do things that we don't want them to do. And the other thing is we should also prepare them for, uh, to be leaders, future leaders in their country, when their country is free, or when they can go back to their country. So, um, uh, that is the reason why we set up our group. Okay, so here, what we want to do is to set up education center because we know there's a need. Definitely, there's a need. All right, and then the the uh, what our event will be is dinner, and then we will have sponsorship, auction, and refugee performance. Dinner is dry, as you say, but basically, what we have. During the dinner, is will be uh, things that will be uh, that should will be of innovative. Uh, we we'll put in innovative things like, for example, at dinner, we will have. Um, we will have Nachi being a waiter. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a word from her. Okay, when you say uh, about the dinner, right? What we are trying to say is we're gonna for all this income source here. So we are put, because this is on refugees, mostly it's children, most of the embassies and the government department will be actually very supportive on this. So we are trying to sell the tables at a quite expensive rate for this. Um, the first target group, we, are, we will be the VVITs and VIPs for the ministries on that. So this will be the table sponsorship. So when they actually have the sponsored the table, they can sponsor it for their own embassies or ministry, or they can also sponsor the refugee kids to come for the dinner. And when we're going to for the grant giving and usually it's the embassies, basically it's the embassies, all the embassies will be there to support us. So when you say embassies, we go and get all the embassies in Malaysia, there's no specific ones. Okay, there's also a way of getting the sponsors for their tables and also for the data. First, the auction will be led by the, our, let us say, our chairman of this particular organization or whoever, the big, big individuals that would like to donate. They can also give some of their items for the auction, which will be held during the dinner. And we have the refugee performance, and also we'll go for some activities like a presentation or some musical things where the, the refugees will be doing activities to give awareness of where there's a identity, to know what kind of life cycle that they're going through. And uh, we also have sponsorship during the uh, dinner, which means that we're going to come up with a pencil kind of thing. Usually, don't say it's a normal pencil, but it's a thicker version of a wooden pencil that we have, in which will be a sponsorship kind of thing, where we will sell, we'll say there's a, if you want to the sponsor, there are three types of sponsorship. One is for 5,000 ringgit, which will be a sponsorship for education for the student for a year, or uh, 500 ringgit, which will be for a child. For a child. Just for a child, and then I think another, for teacher, then another five thousand, five thousand. It's five thousand for teacher and the student. I mean, for a kid and a. Am I telling you right? <laughs> okay, let me do it again. Five hundred is for the kid. Okay, this for one kid for one year. 
whereas five thousand will be for the kid and the teacher, which will be the expenditure for the teacher for the whole year. Whereas fifty thousand will be for the education for one year. So they can actually where is interested in the individual or any organization during the event, they can actually sponsor this. So it will be an additional income for us that part. So that's I think I've covered the income and also the manner of approach of that. Seven years and program books. We are going to uh, have advertisements on the program book where the sponsors can actually sponsor like a ten thousand or five thousand. You know, where we do. And usually, you know, the organization books will have that uh, where they can sponsor the things and also publicize their uh, organizations and their corporates and all that. We will also call for options. We will also uh, get things from the main uh, invitees for options. We, we think we will get some cheap <laughs> and yeah. something from him to, to, yeah. and to add on we will try to get the celebrities who are actually more on the humanitarian sort where they will do things for us on a MOC, yeah, charity wise kind of uh, for example that uh, Harit Iskandar Harit. Harit Iskandar and Athlete mm -hmm. so, yeah and a few of we have got a few options we are looking at so our target amount is We are targeting about one million during that this uh, gala dinner, so called, and we are trying to get the venue as PICC, uh, Putra Jaya International Convention Center. And the main reason why we are trying to get PICC is because we are trying to get the governments to sponsor the place. We don't want to pay for that particular thing, or we do have options if we can't get it, but we will work out to get the sponsorship of the government because want them to be there. So we can have it on that particular day and we want to have it on 20th of June to um, make a recognition of this World Refugee Day which is not being recognized in Malaysia yet. So we try to make sure that it's uh, international and get a more on a publicity kind of event. I think I've covered this whole area. Yeah. So now we call our money man. <laughs> Okay, I'm supposed to cover the income and uh, source the income and the expenditure. Okay, we have put the self table. That's one of our main things, sponsorship. Uh, we have, uh, what else we have? Uh, we have program, souvenirs, uh, option, maybe the VIP will sing a very expensive song and all this. Now, how we, from the sales of the tickets, we will be going to have different rates, just as I showed. The VIP tables will be 20,000 20, per table, but very minimal amount. Then we have another category, 10,000 and all this. All in, the amount that we can bring in will be about 1 million or more. Okay? And, uh, <coughs> Our expenses, we have also, uh, what do you call that, uh, put it in, even though it may be all be sponsored, like food, rental of hall, uh, entertainers, uh, and programs, publicity, and all these things. The amount comes to about 10% of what you are supposed to net, okay, for 108,000. But all this could be sponsored. We have a period of about nine months, which gives us ample time to prepare for it, so that there is time to hit the target. Okay. Uh, I think <coughs> that I have to take a talk. So, I 
will be it will take about a year. So uh year, five year. Five months? Nine months. Nine months, okay. For nine months. So we will have periodical uh, uh, we will sort of highlight uh, periodically. So we will have our uh, what is it press conference launch so that people will know. So uh, then we will have our press uh, release of which you will be City Rana will be City Rana. So basically, uh, that is what we will do. And then for unforeseen challenges, uh, we actually do not see much that I, unless, unless the hall drops or falls then or close because of some problems that we have back up all. The one fell down. So we we if if there are people coming and say saying things to say this is non political, and this is supposed to be an international event, and we are actually also helping the Malaysians so that these people do not do some things. I mean, it helps. So we will have information there to to counter, and uh, basically. This is a very noble project because these people are stateless. We have to give them uh, opportunity because uh, remember the Bosnian group that came, we gave them uh, uh, education and all that. And now the country, their country is okay. They are now, uh, if you, if, because I follow the project, I was one of the volunteers, now they are diplomats, they are businessmen and they are lecturers. So I think it will work again if we actually help all the refugees in Malaysia to have some form of education so that they will be prepared when they go back to the country. Okay? So uh, as I say, uh, that is the whole thing. So uh, I think CC will read the, the, the press release.
think they want to take the lower end for the crowds. Those will be around the VIP. Yes, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So a little bit more exclusivity for them. I will strategize it that way so that they feel more exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. So I think yeah, budget that this is good. You know what the rental, the food, and so on. Because I, I hope you calculated it correctly. <laughs> and the hall, uh, even it's good to put in the hall, you have to rent the hall because it will cost you at least 10,000 10, to 20,000 for a hall. Yeah. You know? right. and what kind of hall you are using. And uh, if that is sponsored, as we say, no, money saved is money raised. So if you can save it by some sponsorship or by cutting it down, you actually, that money is considered as money raised. You may not spend it. Like Publicity, as usual, they're very vague. You don't know what it is. You know what publicity you're talking about. Yeah. How many media you hope to carry this. Things like that. It's to be, to be a bit more specific. We say a publicity would like to have a press release of about uh, three months or something like that before the event, or whatever, or the launch, you know, soft launch. Or so that these are actually very targeted. Uh, they talk about it, but they miss out that part. Uh, okay, yeah, so when you put in your, your plan, it's good to indicate that, then you know when. Of course, you don't need to be too early or so, because you're giving yourself nine months of the time. I mean, uh, maybe first time doing the event is fine, but if you're doing the event regularly, you can't afford nine months. So probably it's about five months, six months, you begin the process, forming your committee. But the other day, you probably dinner, you probably launch about three months, two to three months. Because uh, Malaysian has poor memories, no? <laughs> <laughs> they forget very fast. So you launch too early, the urgency is not there. And uh, usually events like this are like dinner, people are rest. Are you planning to bring in some VIPs or bring in uh, someone who is well known, a big corporate or somebody <coughs> from UNHCR to head your project? Are you planning to do that? Human rights. 
I know. So are you able to have that kind of contact? George Soros is there, but are you able to reach him? You know? So, so yeah, it all depends on you. I'm not saying it's not possible, uh, you know, but are you able to reach that? Uh? You, you have to be more realistic in your planning. Okay? And I agree with brother, nine months is a long time. I have never done a project that goes on for nine months. Yeah? Shorten it a bit. Okay? And you can give an innovation. You can be innovative by having celebrities as waiters. Alright? You are saying that you want to get the ministries involved. All right, home ministry. Who is the uh, minister for home ministry? Hisham Mude. Are you able to talk Hisham Mude and say, can you be the waiter for that evening? Uh, then the media loves that. You know, if you can just do it, yeah? Or get the UNHCR ambassador to dress up as a waiter, yeah, and to serve food. Actually, no harm done is a sense of humility. Okay, you are always at the top. Why can't you go down? Yeah? So if you can do all these things, I congratulate you. Yeah? It's very good. I'm not asking you to give it up, but be a more, a more realistic. And you must get the heavy weights on board your organizing committee. Yeah? Preparing the report. My, my call my yeah. call is under the ministry of uh, youth and small. Okay, if you In can. fact, uh, we are supposed to put uh, the minister, the brother, for the team. Sabrina's best in your patron, you know. Don't make him. The patron make him the organizing oh, chairman. Okay, okay. Yeah. Patron means they don't care. La. Oh. They will give you little money and then come as a patron. La. Make him as the organizing chairman involved in. Yeah? If you can get a heavy weight, by all means. Yeah? Okay, coming to your press release, la. brother is right now, very big. La. You didn't even give your contact number. I want to buy a table. Alright, where do I find it? You know, a lot of NGOs forget to do that. Your email address, contact person's name, your mobile number. Huh? And you must have a media schedule, like what brother said. And you mean whole project, you have one launch and that's it. You must plan periodically. You know, get the radio to announce it, city watch and star to have your project done as well. Yeah? Okay.